March 2nd, 2015, seven years ago, there are seven Dragon Balls, and as of March 2nd, 2022, which is tomorrow, there will be seven years of the Geekdom 101 account being here on YouTube. And I wanted to quickly have like a real talk video and reflect on the past seven years, because a lot has changed, but the more things change, the more they stay the same. When... I started my YouTube channel March 2nd, 2015. I had opened it up just to do like translations because I had gotten my hands on a uh, HD trailer for Resurrection F and I wanted to drop a accurate translation on YouTube and I was one of the first to do so with the high definition quality and then you know everybody else did it. And since then I started to make little videos with a rock band microphone, Windows Movie Maker, um, you know, paintbrush as an editing tool, the most basic bitch possible software available at the time, and just started to talk about Dragon Ball, and it just kind of snowballed from there. And it's funny because here we are, March 1st, 2022, and we're about a month away from a brand new Dragon Ball movie hitting theaters in Japan. March 2nd, 2015, we were about a month away from a brand new Dragon Ball movie hitting theaters in Japan. So the more things change, the more they stay the same, but things definitely did change. And granted, right now, the community's in a bit of a waiting period. We're waiting for this manga arc to end. We're waiting for the anime movie to come out so we can all watch it. We're waiting for the anime to come back. If you remember back in 2015, we didn't even know that Dragon Ball would have a new TV show. We were in the middle of a Dragon Ball renaissance that Battle of Gods really kicked into high gear in 2012, 2013. And we were also in the middle of a whole new series of games. DBZ Fusions or Dragon Ball Fusions was coming out. Battle of Z had come out. Wasn't too well received. Xenoverse 1 had just come out. So like, it was like a new era, right? A renaissance. The Dragon Ball renaissance is a phrase that Quam Man had come up with. And that's really what it was. And I was so lucky to have started my channel right before Super started. I never had any idea there would be a new anime. I had no clue until like, uh, you know, when it all got announced. I had no idea. And there were rumors for years. And there was hoaxes and lies and then it actually happened, and so many things changed from then to now. I have met so many people through this YouTube channel that have become dear, close, personal friends of mine. I've been able to establish business relationships with companies I never thought I'd work with. I've been able to host conventions and plan them. I've been able to produce content that you know saw the eyes of many important people in the sphere of influence. I've been able to interview nearly every major voice actor on the Western side of things. And I've been able to actually interview Ryo Horikawa at the first Kamehacon. There is footage of that online, just not on my channel. And I never thought I would do that. I never thought I'd actually be able to text back and forth with Sean Schemmel. Like, that's crazy. And get to know him. I never thought that I would have so many people coming up to me at conventions or on the street telling me how much their videos meant to them. That's a lot for me to swallow, dude, because I make these videos for fun and I make them as escapist entertainment, which is why I rarely talk about like real world things on this channel. And if you notice, the past few years, there's been a lot of real world problems. We got a real world problem going on right now as we speak. And the past couple of years for the entire world, we've all suffered. No matter who you are, this has affected you for the past couple of years. And even before that, we went, you know, Dragon Ball Super, the anime came and went. We've had tons of video games since then. We've had, you know, Dragon Ball Super Broly came out, which was a very, very well-received movie. And we have a new one coming out, which does not have anywhere near the hype of the last one. But most of us are at least curious about what they're going to do. I want to talk to you guys on some real talk. So... I've grown a lot as a person since I started this YouTube channel. When I started this channel, I was a very brash, very somewhat arrogant guy. And, you know, because I was very proud of what I was doing. And I feel like the content that I produce now, if I look at it objectively, is better than what I was putting out back then. But I was one of the first to do it in this kind of style for Dragon Ball, like this kind of, you know, unique style. And everybody on this platform has their own style. 
And so, you know, after a while, like when you go through kind of the ebbs and flows and you start meeting new people, interacting with them, you learn things about yourself. You learn things about people. I have learned more about humanity in the past seven years as I've been able to travel the world, go to Japan, go to LA, go to Chicago. I never went to these cities when I was young because I was poor. I grew up poor. You know, and now I have a career that allows me to do that. And it was a, it's a very big, like, awakening. It was, a, I'll call it an awakening. And I've come to learn that things have changed. Things have changed. There's been a character arc, not just in my life, but in the entire community of that covers Dragon Ball that's into Dragon Ball. One of the biggest communities for a single franchise out there. You know, it really is. It might not be as big as like Marvel, Star Wars, or even Harry Potter, but it's big. It's got a lot of people in it from all over the world. And you could even argue it's bigger than Harry Potter because of how worldwide big it is. But I'm not going to crunch the numbers up right now because Harry Potter's huge, Dragon Ball's huge. I'm just saying, it's very popular. And everyone has an opinion. Everyone has an opinion. Some like this, some like that. And I used to, man, I used to debate with people. Y'all know, I used to debate with people on various different platforms and spend hours doing it and I just kind of stopped doing that because once I kind of realized that what I was here to do was produce videos not to fight with people that's what became the focus and ever since I started doing this I have been put through the ringer y'all there have been things said about me all over the internet for the past seven years that are so I've had every single possible slur or insult said about me and lie said about me for the past seven years. And for a long time, I took it very personal. And for a long time, uh, it, it did affect my mental health. Because when someone says something about you that's not true, and people do it on the internet to everyone, even you guys in the comments, I'm sure you've dealt with it. When someone says something about me that's not true, it used to bring my piss to a boil, bro, because it's so unfair. Like, the internet is so quick to like, have an, a formulate an opinion on someone they don't even know based on very small data and it's very immature and that's just how people are because we've kind of become accustomed to getting everything so instant and not having you know that instant gratification not having like to really understand things and take time to learn things and I've grown so much because I was like this at one time and for me it's been the reverse I've learned to kind of take a step back and view things objectively. And I want to apologize to my audience for one thing. I want to apologize for not at times focusing on, you know, making each and every one of you happy because I was too busy focusing on the negativity. When you read the comment section and you see like literally thousands of positive comments, but it's the one negative comment, the one lie, the one false truth that pisses you off, like it's a common thing that people deal with, right? But I used to focus on it. I used to harp on it. I used to become very hyper-focused on the negative to the point where I actually made friends or tried to make friends with people who were toxic and people who were basically trying to bring me down. I've made that mistake in the past seven years when what I should have done is not given them any attention because the way things work online is when someone has an opinion about you that's made up, it's made up and not everyone's going to like you. Sometimes you can change their mind, but is it? do you really want to waste time changing their mind or do you really want to focus on your people? And I've, you know, for the past seven years, 90% of my focus has been on my people, but that 10% still pisses me off. Like I'm mad at myself over that, that I wasted so much time trying to t convert haters into fans when I should have been making my fans happy. And I hate using the word fans because I don't like, I'm nobody, dude. I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just going to say followers or subscribers. I hate the word fan. I don't like it. I know some of y'all don't care. Some of y'all do. I just don't like that word because I, believe it or not, contrary to what these people say, I don't have a big ego. I don't like being considered somebody special. I really don't. I'm just the guy who makes videos. I take pride in my work and I take pride in entertaining people and educating them and all that stuff and helping them learn to love Dragon Ball more. But if someone doesn't like me, it used to really bother me. I used to want everyone to like me. And it's just, that's just not how it is, man. That's the biggest lesson I've learned about myself is that there was something lacking in my heart for many years. There was a void that needed to be filled for many years based on things that happened when I was a child, childhood traumas. And I've learned that 
Fuck the fucking people who don't care about you or formulate opinions about you or make up lies about you. Fuck, don't even give them attention. Let them suffocate because the minute you give them attention, you're giving them a piece of you. You are giving them the eyeball that they want. They want attention. They crave it because they're not getting any in their own lives. And when you give them that attention, they want more and more and more. And once you stop giving it to them, that's when they show their true colors. But that's also when they suffocate. So I'm not going to be doing that ever again, man. I'm not doing that ever again. You know, from this day forward, a hundred, not 98.5, not 99, a hundred percent, not 90 even, a hundred percent of what I do here on Geekdom 101 is for my audience. If you want a video and... You know, I can produce that video for you. I'll produce it. If you want me to make 10 videos a week on this movie, I will do my very best to do that. Because ultimately, it's the people that support you and that have stuck around with or without Dragon Ball Super that mean the most to me. And I was very aware that when Dragon Ball Super Broly ended and we weren't going to get a, a new Dragon Ball series, not right away, but sometime around late 2019, like I knew that my numbers on this channel weren't going to be able to stay high because interest in Dragon Ball has gone down. It just makes sense. It's just like how NBA... When there's no games, the interest goes down. When the draft is over, you got those few months. Same thing with NFL, MLB. You know, this YouTube stuff covering Dragon Ball is like a sport. And I've been blessed enough to have the monthly manga, but I know that right now, interest in Dragon Ball is not what it was in 2017. And I totally understand that. And as a businessman, you have to make adjustments. And I'm still blessed to be able to say that I'm sitting here making these videos and that they're still making me a very, very good living, and thanks to this Dragon Ball channel, thanks to my love of this franchise, and to each and every one of you, I've been able to pay my medical bills, I've had a lot of medical problems that have come up, you know, as I get older, I've been able to buy a home, which which really helped my PTSD from being homeless, I've been able to, you know, clear out my debt. These are important things. These are real things like who gives a shit what some douchebag on the internet with no follower says about you when you're buying a fucking house in the real world. That's real fucking shit. That's shit that each and every one of you should want to do because it's yours. You know, at least that's what I think most people want is their own house. Like that's cool. That like that should be celebrated, you know? Like who cares? And so it's important though that I You know, I've always tried to give back to my audience, and I'll continue to do so. In fact, I might be doing a meet and greet in April. I'll let you know about that if I get – I don't know yet, but I might do one, okay? Uh, That's all being worked out. But uh, I like to give back as much as I can, but even if I take away – I feel so guilty I took away 10% of my time to address trash when I should have been addressing the people who have stuck with me. So this video is for you. I thank you for sticking with me. And I thank you for sticking with me for now seven years, seven years of content, over 2,000 some odd videos, and I haven't even gotten halfway through my ideas for more videos. We're not even done yet, you know what I mean? There's a lot coming, and it's just funny because, you know, one of the things that used to really burn my, it used to piss me off, is when people said that I'm out of ideas, when I have a literal notebook filled with video ideas that I haven't touched, and I've had it for years, and we're talking about hundreds, because I brainstorm ideas and I write them all down. It's just comedy, bro. People will say whatever to get under your skin, and the important thing is not to address it, because that's one of the things you deal with being in this online space. People say whatever the fuck they want about you with no consequences. You can't smack them upside the head. You can't, like, you know, say something back. I mean, you can, but do you want to waste your time doing it? especially when you have a platform. So I've just learned so much, dude. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about how to treat people. I've learned a lot about the mistakes I've made in the past with other people, maybe letting my temper get to be, maybe being a dick sometimes. You know, I've never hit anything about, I've never hit my flaws. I've always admitted that sometimes I can be a dick, I can be a smart ass. I have never, I've never hidden my flaws, ever. I've never hidden. I have nothing to hide from anyone, you know? And so, and the reason why is because It shows true growth and it shows that I'm still willing to learn. And I hope that people out there can take that and say, you know what, I'm not perfect, but I'm still willing to learn. As long as you're willing to get better, dude, that's all that matters. Even if you don't feel like you're at your best, that's okay. We're not really going to be at our best when we're young. We really become at our best when we get older. And I say like 40s, 50s, and I'm not there yet. 
but that's when you really kind of become the smartest version of you. You know, you might be older than 20s and 30s, but you're going to know so much. You're going to have so much life experience, you know. So I look forward to continuing this channel. Nothing, I'm telling you right now, nothing will ever stop me from making content unless I choose to stop. And trust me, if I choose to stop, I'll make sure you know about it. I'll, and I'll give you a reason why. But I love this too damn much to give it up, man. Thanks for listening. I, I genuinely love you guys for staying with me and for supporting me and for more most importantly understanding that I'm a flawed person just like you and everybody else and that the most important thing is that we all, every one of us, if you're black, white, Spanish, Asian, if you're uh, uh, you know from any country in the world, every one of us should try to be better and do the best we can. I'll talk to you later this week.